Hey guys, my name is Shamira and I'm back to do another dissecting an op note with me. Um, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the video. And this one that I have today is going to be a surgery for an ectopic pregnancy. So this patient has a tubal ectopic pregnancy. So the, um, the egg started to develop inside the left fallopian tube. So let's begin reading our indications. It says here, the patient was admitted to the hospital for surgical management of a left ectopic pregnancy after discussing therapeutic alternatives. An ultrasound revealed a left adnexal mass with a hypervascular rim. Patient has a history of prior left ectopic tubal pregnancy that was treated with methotrexate. The patient now presents for laparoscopic salpingectomy and consents have been signed. We have our pre-op and post-op diagnosis codes and let's get into this procedure. What I'm going to do is I will highlight the um, main things that you want to pay attention to when you are looking at your op note. So I'm going to skim through, if I can find my pen, um, patient brought to the OR. Bladder was drained. Okay, so right here where it says attention turned to the abdomen, this is where our procedure is actually getting ready to start. So all this information up here is pretty much the pre-work that they are doing before they begin the actual surgery. Um, let me see, where's our next indicator? Okay, right here where it says there was a varus needle placed into the abdomen and pneumoperitoneum with CO2 gas. So the reason for them putting gas in is, or air, gas, whatever, is because um, this is going to be a laparoscopic procedure, which I believe it was mentioned up here at the top, laparoscopic salpingectomy. So that is why they're putting air in it, kind of like, um, inflates the abdomen so that way they can see um, what they're doing as they're doing their uh, procedure. So we have the gas and then you'll then see five millimeter chokers that are being placed. So these are the um, actual what are instruments that are going to be used or that's going to help them get their instruments through to be able to do the salpingectomy. So once we have our chokers in, you'll see that it says ports have been placed. And then um, it says survey was done with findings as listed above. So this is them um, just checking to see if they do see an ectopic tubal pregnancy. And then it says the left tube was grass. and fulgurated and dissecting along the mesosalpinx and the tube was transected near the cornea and the tube was completely excised. So that means the entire tube was removed, which they say that right here. And they put it and they removed it through the 11 millimeter troker. And then we have our troker removed and the patient was taken out of the Trendelenburg and the remaining chokers were removed. Incisions were repaired with 4O monocryl. So these are our repairs at the end of the small incision we made for our um, chokers in the beginning. And then this is the end of our procedure. This is the findings and this is where they usually say like patient was sent to pack you for recovery. So that is our full procedure. And now in my CPT book, I'm going to show you guys where we would find this code. Because normally, if you were to go to the female genital system, and if you were thinking laparoscopically for like the ovaries and OB duct, which is on this page here, um, normally for a salpingectomy laparoscopically, you would use 
this code here, the 58661, but since this is for an ectopic pregnancy, we are not using these codes here. You need to be in the maternity section, the maternity and delivery section. So I'm going to go over there, just a couple pages over, and you will see right here, we are at excision, and you see laparoscopic treatment of an ectopic pregnancy without salpingectomy and or oophorectomy, but this time we actually did remove the fallopian tubes, which is a salpingectomy. So we need to go over here to find the other description for our laparoscopic treatment of ectopic pregnancy. Right here where you see this like, um, I don't know, can you see that? Uh, where you see this semicolon, anything after that is what's going to be for this code here. So we want laparoscopic treatment of ectopic pregnancy with salpingectomy and or oophorectomy. So our CPT code for this um, operative note is going to be 591 Did I do that right? Yes. So this is going to be our CPT code for this operative note. That is it for this video, you guys. Straight to the point. Um, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.